Hey guys, Huskers GBR Rich here, bringing another video in today. I'm going to do a little armory tour, or at least show you what uh, what guns I have in my safe. My my last video, I'll put a link to it. I don't know, like right, let's say right here. Um, I talked about trap shooting, and a lot of you guys seemed, uh, you know, like you like guns, or you were interested in them, so I just figured I would do this video, something a little bit different. But um, yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Shields Outfitters, uh, that's my local sporting goods store. It's where I bought, and, or that's where I buy all my ammo. Uh, I've gotten one gun from them, and I'll show you here. In a little bit. All right, this is the inside of the safe. Pretty standard stuff. Um, I got uh, three shotguns and one carbine rifle. My first gun, which is my definitely my favorite. Let's see here. I can just think I'll just lay it down like this. Is my Browning XT trap combo. And if you uh, are unfamiliar with this gun, that's definitely warranted because. You can actually only get this guy. Sorry about the angle here. I got to pull out another barrel set with it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Set this guy down here too. So this is the XT Trap Combo. I currently have the over under barrel with it, but I also got it with the unsingle combo barrel right up there on the top. Um, the unsingle is a 34 inch barrel. The over under is a 32, and uh, I also got a uh, soft comb put onto it, so you actually see that it gives there a little bit. An adjustable gel butt butt plate on it. My bad. And it's a standard pull trigger on it. Uh, I was thinking about actually getting a release trigger for a while, but decided not to. A little bit too expensive. Um, but yeah, this is my baby. This is what won me quite a bit of competitions throughout high school and afterwards. Um, the ATA or American Trap Shooting Association. Uh, I am a member with them. I was, uh, I think, the third place junior in my state of Nebraska, and I've won several other shoots from them, but I actually managed to pay off this gun uh, from my winnings, which is really, really awesome. Otherwise, I'd probably be in debt up to my eyeballs. This gun is probably worth more than my bike by at least a little bit. So if that puts it into into perspective for you, um, you know, I, I guess there you go. But let's go back to the safe here again, show you some of the other ones. This is a Benelli Nova 12 gauge, pretty standard. This is my oldest gun. This is the one that my dad first actually bought me when I uh, completed hunter safety, but real, real standard stuff. This is normally the field gun that I take with me to go bird hunting, whether it's dove or quail, um, even uh, turkey. Well, I'll get into that here in a little bit. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a solid gun, very, very solid gun, very cheap. I think these guys are about $300 USD. So there's that guy. And then let's see here. And it's a, and that one's a pump action. And that one's a brake action. Should have made that clear. And all these guns have been safety checked. I didn't do it in the video, but I always leave them action open. Um, and you know, never never loaded. But this is my Stoger uh, 12 gauge semi-auto turkey gun. This is a gun I actually won. I won at state when I was shooting with that. I was in a raffle and actually won this guy, um, which is pretty awesome. I used it a couple times. I haven't actually gotten any birds with it, but for the most part, I just take my Benelli with me. I think the Stoger is actually owned by Benelli, but um, yeah, there's that guy, another 12 gauge shotgun. And then this guy, this is like the best deal in the world right here. Some people really hate this company, but this is my high point carbine, um, the 995TS. It's a nine millimeter carbine rifle. Um, I did just put a little red dot on it, but a little foregrip. It looks cool. It's fun to shoot. It's cheap ammo. And this gun is only $250 USD. And a lot of people say high point is, has reliability issues, but I mean, for the price, you can't really beat it. And I haven't had a problem with this gun yet. I probably put a couple thousand rounds through it. So big ups to, uh, to high point for that. It's a very good, uh, good gun in my opinion. But again, that's it guys. That's my gun collection. Back over here one more time. And I guess I should also mention the guy who did the work on this gun, making the soft comb and putting the adjustable butt plate on it, um, is a guy named Jim Jolene. He's a really, really good gunsmith in my local area. If you ever are in Nebraska or need a good gunsmith that you wouldn't mind shipping something to, um, I can get you his contact information if you would like. But he has no problem taking a saw to, um, you know, a Remington like 1100 or a twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollar Parazzi. Or a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar Holland and Holland. He's done it all. So 
Um, you know, he's not scared and he has, does very, very good work. He's done a lot of work for, um, some professional ATA shooters and stuff like that. So, but that's it guys. Just wanted to bring you that video. Thought you might like it. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you next time.